The House is at the fifth order. In the matter of Rep Representative Priscilla Giddings, following our investigation and public hearing held pursuant to House Rule 45, the committee unanimously finds by clear and convincing evidence that Representative Priscilla Giddings engaged in conduct unbecoming a representative, which is detrimental to the inter integrity of the House as a legislative body. As a member of the House and as a citizen, Representative Giddings is entitled to exercise her First Amendment right, the right of freedom of speech. Therefore, the Ethics Committee unanimously rejected the Cheney complaint. Like all citizens, she is not free from consequences of abusing or imprudently exercising that right in connection with a personnel matter. Exposing a victim, an alleged victim's personal information may be construed as retaliation, could lead to bullying, and can cause such a chilling effect that future victims do not come forward. Representative Giddings engaged in conduct unbecoming when pressed about the Facebook post in the Aaron Von Ellinger hearing. Her conduct was compounded when she was evasive, combative, and not forthright in her sworn testimony before the Ethics Committee and did not offer evidence to contradict the evidence presented by the 24 representatives who filed the complaint. Her repeated lying, half-truths, and total disrespect for the Ethics Committee and the Ethics Committee process is conduct that cannot be tolerated. The Ethics Committee is comprised of her peers who have been tasked with the very difficult responsibility to investigate ethical violations and report their findings to the House. This obligation was made more difficult by her conduct. Therefore, we unanimously recommend that the House of Representatives censure Representative Giddings with the restrictions and conditions that she be removed from her seat on the House Commerce and Human Resources Committee, done this 31st day of August 2021, signed Sage Dixon, John Gannon, Wendy Horman, Brent Crane, and John McCrosty. Ellen from Milan. Mr. Speaker, I uh, <clears throat> move that the House adopt the report of the Ethics Committee. Ellen from 16. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. Mm -hmm. All right, we have a motion before us to accept the committee's report. Is there debate? Debate from Milan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Would the gentleman from one stand for question? Will the gentleman yield? The gentleman does not yield. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm wondering if someone else from the committee could answer a question. The ball is in your court, ma'am. Okay, so then, um, Mr. Speaker, I ask that the gentleman from District 17 from the committee would answer a question. The gentleman is not here this morning. He's absent. Okay. He's one of our absents. I assume he'll be here, but he's not here now. All right, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would request that, um, I would ask that the good woman from um, District 30 might answer a question. Will the lady yield? The lady does not yield. Lady from one. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm wondering if you would yield to a question. I will not yield. Hmm. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm just trying to get a question answered about the finances for this committee. So is, um, then I would wonder if there's someone from this body that would yield to a question about the money spent for this committee. I'm going to call that question out of order. Uh, you can direct it to any one of the members, but uh, Flock Shop is out of order. You have the floor to debate. I'm not ready to debate at this time. Is there further debate? 